Hey guys, this is Alex and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as you can see by today's title, we are going to do a Valentine's Day look. I even brought out the red robe. Who is she? <laughs> okay, yeah, but anyway, by today's title, you can see we're doing a Valentine's Day glam. Um, I love February. I'm so glad we are finally in a new month. Um, I love February for many reasons. It's my birthday, it's Christmas birthday, Valentine's Day, Black History Month. There's just so much to celebrate in this month. And I feel like in February, like I finally have gotten over the whole like New Year, New Me thing. It's January, Happy New Year stuff. And now I'm like, okay, I finally feel like I'm in the groove of 2020. So let's get into it. But yeah, so today we're gonna do kind of like a nice soft glam of some sort of Valentine's Day. I've been doing this look um, for a little bit now. I'm just kind of playing around with it. And I love it because it incorporates a lot of browns and pinks. And I really love like a very smooth base and just kind of like pops of color my makeup. So I've been using the pop of pink lately. And of course that's perfect for Valentine's Day. So I hope y'all enjoy this look. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Tell me what you guys want to see and I will deliver it for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And let's get into it. Did I say washing? No. All right guys, be sure to do like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all so much for watching and let's get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and prime first with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I've been using this primer for a little while now and I really like it. At first I was like, I'm not too sure because it's like very, very white, as you can see the consistency here. But I really like it because I feel like it keeps my makeup matte all day. And also kind of like oil free. But yeah, it keeps my skin very um, matte throughout the day and also kind of helps me keep um, oil in bed. Wow, that rhymed. Okay, so next I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Pro Filter Foundation. I'm in the shade 440. Compared to the original Fenty Beauty Foundation, I like this one a lot better. Um, the other one I just feel like just never settled well with my skin. I don't know why. I don't know what it was. But this one like blends in seamlessly into my skin. And a little bit is perfect for a very soft glam. Or you can put a lot for definitely a more full coverage look. I'm going to go ahead and put another pump or so. some to the forehead and then where it's near my edges I usually will have like a wrap or something on but I don't have one right now but when it's around my edges I'll usually just kind of pat so that way it doesn't get too much into my hairline and I find that my forehead is just an area where I need less coverage so guys remember that when you're putting foundation on don't feel like you have to have the same amount of coverage of foundation across your whole face. If you find that there are areas of your face where you don't need so much coverage, like for me it's my forehead, um, I will put less there than I would like across my cheek, my around my mouth and stuff like that. As you can see I look very dewy, like against the light. It's definitely a very glowy, dewy look when I set it with powder. It'll still give you that shine from within, but you won't be too glowy and dewy. I think that's enough padding and blending for now, don't you think? Okay, so next we're gonna go in with the LA Pro Girl Concealer. This is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. It's my exact skin tone shade, and the reason I use it is because um, I have done some of my nose from wearing glasses for so many years, and so this helps to really cover it up before I put my highlighting concealer. Um, and I'll use this a lot on days where I just want like a very no makeup makeup look and I just put this like all over my face and it just blends in and it kind of gives me that skin but better look and then I'll blend it all over my face but for today I'm going to put it on the bridges of my nose just conceal um, those trouble spots that I have and that concealer I'm just going to really focus it on the nose and then I'll take a lighter shade and go under my eyes For highlight, I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Suede and really build that under my eyes. I don't use this as a concealer very often, 
but I just picked it up recently and I was like, I'm just giving it a shot. And I really liked it. Same thing, take a sponge and blend it out. I like the Fenty matchsticks a lot. You'll even see in this video and other videos, I use them in some capacity just because they're so versatile. You can use them as blush, eyeshadow, lipstick, concealer, foundation. Like you can use it for so much. So I definitely use those a lot. People will ask me like, what's the key to a smooth base? And I definitely wanna do like a whole video on this, but just taking the time to blend out product can really make a huge difference for you. Especially when you're blending out like foundations, creams, concealers, like liquid contour, it just really pays off just to take a few more minutes just to take your sponge or brush, whatever you use to blend it out. And that way you don't really have so many harsh lines on your face. Everything just looks to be one. Okay guys, next we're gonna take the Juvia's Place. Um, I am Magic Concealer. This is in the shade two. This shade is very, 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 very dark for me. Um, I definitely could have gone like two, three shades lighter. Um, but we're gonna make it work. So I literally put a dot, dot, and dot on my face like that is enough I promise you that is enough even if it was like in my shade I probably would just put a little bit more than that because this concealer is very pigmented so if you're someone who's looking for like a full coverage look this is the concealer they have it at Ulta I've noticed not all Ulta's have Juvia's Place which is a shame but hopefully that'll be fixed soon my forehead is ginormous light is just like shining on top of it but yeah i've noticed that not all i've noticed that not every ulta has um juvia's place um because i have one close to me but the ulta by my parents does not so when i wanted to order the concealer for my mom her under eyes i had to order it online but if your local Ulta has Juvia's Place, go and catch some of the concealer because it's definitely really bomb, very full coverage. So if you're someone who maybe has like dark circles under your eyes or just wants to like use it as a foundation or a concealer, whatever you want to use it as, it's very high coverage. So it's great for if you want that look. Okay, so as you can see, I just took a dot of that. You may not be able to see it too well on camera, but it definitely gives me a little bit more of a sculpted look. This is very optional. I do not liquid contour every single day. I'm more of a bronzer type of girl just to kind of like locking the base together. I just feel like it gives it just a nice flush on the face, but I don't know, I just went an extra step today just to kind of show you guys what I would do for liquid contour, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna go in with powder. So a lot of times I will use the Fenty Beauty powder in the color Nutmeg. I use that all over my face, and then I'll take a darker shade of a different powder and bronze the perimeter of my face. But I've been doing this new technique, which I really like. So I just take the Black Radiance Soft Focus Powder. This is in the shade Milk Chocolate. I got it at my local uh, drugstore. I wanna say it was like under like seven bucks, so not expensive at all. And so I'm just taking this Laura Mercier, what do you call these things? Not sponge, but you know what I mean. Like the Laura Mercier pads that come with the translucent powder. You can get these at Sephora um, or Laura Mercier directly. And so I'm just gonna take my powder puff that's what it's called. I'm gonna take my powder puff, dip it, kind of just pat it a little bit in the powder, brush off the excess. Of course, if you're doing somebody else's face, do not blow your spit on the sponge, thank you very much. But if it's your own face, of course, just go ahead and blow off the excess. And then I'm just gonna pat that into my skin. Next, I'm gonna take the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the shade Black Coffee and use it as a bronzer just to kind of give my face some dimension. 
bronzer for me has become like a necessity in my makeup kit because for, for the longest time I did not wear bronzer because I never thought it came in a shade dark enough for me, but um, that's where black radiance came through. And so I'll just put bronzer on my face anytime I put powder just to kind of give my face some dimension. But wait, I don't look like one color. It looks like, okay, she has some, you know, bronziness, some like shadows on the perimeter of her face. And the inside of her face is a lot more like lighter and skin tone shade. So it really gives it some dimension. And a little bit goes a long way. Start off, you know, light and then build. It's a lot easier to build and try to take away once you put too much. And I'm just using a Morphe 553 brush. It's very fluffy, a little bit angled as you can see, so it really gives you a nice kind of even distribution across the face. So today I'm gonna use the number seven blush in the color Plum Velvet. I got this at Walgreens quite a bit ago and I haven't used it in a while, um, but it definitely gives you a very rosy blush look to the face, especially if you're dark skin, so this really comes in handy. So what are you lovelies doing for Valentine's Day? What are we doing? What are we doing for Valentine's Day 2020? Y'all, I promise you, whether you are married, single, divorced, you know, just riding out the waves, figuring it out, while Valentine's Day is a wonderful day to show some people that you love them, it's also not the end of the world. I used to think, like, I haven't been, like, technically single for Valentine's Day in a while, but also, Chris and I don't always get the chance to spend every single Valentine's Day, whether it was, like, different schedules, we're in town or whatever, and I used to just feel like, oh my gosh, like, I'm in a relationship and I can't do these things for Valentine's Day, and then you just get older and you realize that it's just not that big of a deal. But yeah, like whether you are going to a fancy dinner or going to be at home watching a movie by yourself or with friends, just make it a day for yourself. Like I encourage you just to also show love to yourself. You know, we are all we have at the end of the day. So I don't know, have fun with it. I've been at all ends of the spectrum where I've gone to nice dinners, where I've gone to just like low-key dinners. I've just been home with pizza and wine. Like I've done it all for Valentine's Day. So don't feel like you have to do this extravagant thing. And I feel like that is where social media comes into play. And it was so hard for me to admit this for the longest time, but like social media definitely makes you feel some sort of way. Because you see influencers, um, you know, influencers, oh my God, what am I trying to say? Whether you are going to be home with a pizza and a bottle of wine by yourself or with friends or watching a movie or at the movies or at a fancy dinner date or at a low-key place just doing your everyday thing like guys or you're working or you're traveling or whatever it is all don't make it that big of a deal just make it a day of also loving yourself i feel like you know we're always sucked up in the hustle and bustle of life and you know, we don't get the time to really take care of ourselves and that is so important in number one. So use that day to take care of yourself, whether it's like a nail appointment or an activity that you don't get to do very often or ordering in your favorite restaurant, your favorite fast food, or just like catching up on your favorite show, whatever it is you can do, just make it a day about loving yourself. That is just my PSA. For those of you that are Jackie Ina fans, you know that she came out with this highlighter maybe 2017, 2018, I cannot even tell you, uh, but in collaboration with Artist Couture. And yeah, it's a very beautiful, very bronze, a little bit of rose gold highlighter. It's very good for deep shades as well. And I think it's just like very universal. It's good for deep shades, lighter tone shades, whatever it is. She doesn't sell it anymore, so you can't find it. It's definitely limited edition, so I was so happy I got my hands on it. But uh, it's definitely a very beautiful highlighter. A little bit goes a long way. Like I've had this forever and you could you would see that there's like barely a dent in there, but very beautiful highlighter. Last kind of thing on the face um, will be brows, of course. I'm just gonna take this Morphe brow pencil in the shade Java and just go ahead and brush those out and fill them in. So next we're gonna go in with eyes. So I'm just gonna go very simple today with my brown. I'm gonna take the Makeup Shayla 
by Maybelline palette. Uh, this is a palette she came out with Maybelline a couple years ago, I want to say. Um, I love this brown, so I'm going to use it all over my lid. Just taking a very warm brown shade and just pressing it all over my lid. Speaking of Valentine's Day, I don't know what Chris and I are gonna do. He had asked me what I want to do. He was like, I just want to do whatever you want to do. And to be honest with you, I don't have an answer. This is just so funny the way women work. Okay, so my next product is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick again in the color Bordeaux Brat. I bought the shade a couple weeks ago and I've been using it ever since. It's just a beautiful, gorgeous shade. It's really, really, really nice. Um, a very bright pink, but not too bright. Um, it has shimmer in it too. So literally all I wanna do is take the shade and just put it on the center of my lid. and It'll just give me a really pretty pink look that's of course perfect for Valentine's Day. Just literally dabbing it on the center of my lid. You can kind of see it there. It's really nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that same brush that I put the brown and just kind of blend out the edges. Just to make it look a little bit more seamless. So you literally have that pop of pink right in the middle. So it's not too bold, but definitely gives you a nice look to the eye. Next, I'm gonna take mascara and just go ahead and lather those lashes. This mascara is the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. Honestly, I've tried quite a few mascaras in the game and I think that this is like a top three. Okay, so I skipped this step on camera, but I just took a brown mascara instead of black of the L'Oreal Voluminous and put that on my bottom lash line. A very, very, very light coat, uh, but just to still give me some volume on my bottom lash line without it being so harsh um, in the lot. So I just put a very light coat of brown. Okay guys, we are wrapping up here. So last but not least is of course lips. So I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Espresso. Now I've used this shade for a lot. I use it in the beginning a lot as contour. Um, but now I actually use it as a lip liner. I think it's like the perfect deep brown shade, but I will also use it as an eyeshadow. So I'll just like take a little with my finger, with a brush, and pat it around my eyes for like a more deeper look on my eyes if I want like a no makeup makeup look or something. But yes, I use it a lot as a lip liner. So that's another reason why these matchsticks are so versatile because you can use it for so many things. on the outer part of my lips. And I'm gonna take this Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Almond and dab that in the center of my lips. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that number seven blush that I took earlier and just dab it a little bit across my cheeks. Start it across my nose. I really want a very much pink look, so go ahead and take that same Jack Hue highlighter and just give a little bit more on the nose. By a little bit, I meant too much, but I'm just gonna take my finger and dab that. A little bit more on the 
All right guys, and here we go. Here is the finished look. Very simple, very easy Valentine's Day look. And of course you don't just have to do this for Valentine's Day. I've just been loving the color pink. So pink is of course perfect for the holiday of love. Okay, so I decided to bring you guys a little bit closer. This is the finished look. Very beautiful skin. <laughs> oh, thank you, Alex, you have. Um, when I mean that, I mean like very laid, uh, very simple skin. Um, the hydrating foundation definitely does that. I love the hydrating foundation for Fenty, and a little bit goes a long way. So if you haven't gotten it, I suggest you get it. But overall, guys, I'm happy with it. I really love this Valentine's Day look. Guys, right, this is the final look. No matter where I'm going, whether it's like home, on the couch with pizza and wine, or out at some nice dinner, I would definitely do this look. So, y'all, it's very easy. If you don't like a lot of foundation, use a concealer. If you don't like a lot of blush, use less. If you want to use a blue or red in the middle of your lid, do it. So it's like you can customize this the way you want to, but I am living for the pink. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like this video, of course, as well as subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell right below me so that way you are notified every time I upload a new video. So once I upload a video, boom, you're gonna get a notification to your phone. Hello. I'm like moving the camera so much, it's just too much. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful Valentine's Day, whether it's by yourself or with a loved one or a partner, whatever it is, y'all make it a day for yourself and just show a little love to somebody else. All right, guys, have a great one and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys.